The Lord has called us to cultivate and to use the earth. We are all aware that many places throughout the world take advantage of the earth and abuse the earth. Even here in Zambia, we have high deforestation rates and planting methods that do not help the soil grow, but actually rob the soil of nutrients. One of the things that we really strive to do in this community, because it's farm-based, is to teach people how to appreciate the land and how to grow the land. With our farm workers at the farm, we teach them how to be creative with these resources and how to be good stewards and managers of these resources. Do, do we do gardens just like other people or is it a bit different? Uh, there, is a, there is a difference. What is that difference? Because uh, uh, you even taught us how to use organic uh, fertilizer and uh, using other fertilizers like manure and also uh, some, there are some new methods of which you have started learning like using the flat beds mm -hmm. and like using the raised ones mm -hmm. which are not good during the dry season. Mm -hmm. The flat beds are best during even the dry season. They okay. do better. Okay. Yes. And Ba Vincent, do you think the gardens look nice or how do they look? I look very nice. They're looking very nice. Yes. All right. And the things you are learning about gardens, are you practicing that in your own gardens? Yes, we are trying to do that. You're trying to do that? Yes. yes. Is it, are you succeeding? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, good. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Yeah. What did you come to find out today? Well, I came here at the farm of Jeremy and Bethan to find out how they are rearing their chickens mm -hmm. and the, the progress they are making because I want to go into the same project as well to, the, to rear the chickens. And the, they actually gave me some cheat bits mm -hmm. which are very important. And uh, basically, they said the most important thing, if you don't have uh, some capital, mm -hmm. you have to start with the village chickens. Okay. Uh, and these village chickens, you can, uh, they taught me how to rear them in a more, in, in a modern way, mm -hmm. whereby within uh, maybe one or two, one or two, three years, I can have enough chickens for my own consumption, mm -hmm. my family, uh, family's consumption, mm -hmm. and for my for sale as well. Yeah. yeah. As okay. a cash, uh, cash, uh, as a cash economy. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what what are you hoping to accomplish with with these with this chicken project? Uh, what I want to accomplish is uh, actually. Um, to defeat the pro uh, problem of uh, poverty, which is uh, actually uh, one of our major problems here. And the, the other thing is to be able to give to the community animal protein, which is lacking in the community. As this, land, uh, this area is very far from uh, rivers and it's very expensive to see to get even fish protein and animal protein. Yeah. yeah. So I'm actually trying to improve the nutrition situation in, the, in, in my village. Yeah, okay. And this is, this is chicken number one right here. Yeah, this is my first chicken. And hopefully by, by November, I have more chickens. Ami, we